So this is the Google Pixel 6 Pro, and in my opinion, it's an amazing phone. We all know that. Released in 2022, and I think actually debuted in 2021, this phone has made the paperweight, has, has puffed um, an amazing paperweight for the future of Google phones. And yeah, it is a bit old. It does have its, it does have its, it does have its improvements and its weaknesses, but it doesn't everything, I guess, these days. Welcome to my Google Pixel 6, welcome to my Google Pixel 6 Pro review. So let's talk about the design of this phone. In this video, again, as with my Pixel 6a video, because I've already published two separate proper reviews on this phone, we're not more going to be talking about how the user experience affects the user and less of the core features. But let's run through the core features really quickly. So with this phone, we have a 120Hz 4K, I believe, display, which is amazing. It's definitely Full HD+, Plus, which is an amazing display. And yeah, since we have a high refresh on this phone, battery does bring quickly, pretty quickly, more on that later. But yeah, we have a 120, we have a 120Hz display on this phone, which is great. We have eight gigabytes of RAM, I think, and oh, what am I saying? Yeah, we have we have we have a nice amount of RAM, a bit more than the Google Pixel 6a, which is great, and the same chip as Google Pixel 6a being Google Tensor chip. We also do have uh, we also do have a 50 megapixel main camera, I think, or might be 48. We also do have we also do have a great array of cameras on this phone, with all of them providing an amazing with with the telephoto wide and the ultra wide providing great photo opportunities with this phone. Anyway, let's dive into the user experience with this phone. So, what's this phone like to use on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, I can say, with my experience, it is amazing. The screen itself is great. Since we have an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor, and whilst there's no face ID, the fingerprint sensor does just fine. In my opinion, with this phone, the display and everything, and the, the smoothness of the display is amazing, and it just makes you feel like you're using the phone itself instead of maybe a screen protector and now I can say this because with like phones with a slow refresh rate it just kind of feels like you have a screen protector let's be honest like displays are laggy but with this phone with a high refresh rate the refresh rate is amazing and it feels amazing and there's a massive noticeable difference between this and a phone with a slow refresh rate which is great In terms of battery life with this phone, I think you can probably use this phone for about, let's say, just about 12 hours with without without charging. I say this because the battery life of this phone honestly isn't great. This phone does have wireless charging though, so whilst it is pretty beefy, so charging this on a wireless charger would be slightly inconvenient, at least it comes with wireless charging, unlike the Google Pixel, unlike the old Google Pixel phones. Yeah, the battery life with this phone isn't great, especially if you use, especially if it uses to its full potential with the 120Hz display. Honestly, the battery life just degrades super quickly and it honestly is not great to use. But on the other hand, if you use this phone from time to time with a, and you don't use the 120Hz refresh rate, you can probably squeeze another six hours or maybe three hours of battery life with this phone. But yeah, the battery life with this phone is definitely something that could be improved. And yeah, it's good to see that I think with the, and I think with the new Google, in terms of the design of this phone, in my opinion, the design is great. The colors of this phone, with this one anyway, is pretty good. Especially if you got this, if you got this phone near a, with a sunset or any other warm colors around it, it just blends into the scene perfectly fine. And honestly, it's just amazing. In my opinion, with this phone, we have an amazing design. And yeah, speaking of design and protecting your phone, check out my new MTR phone cases. I know I've I've already plugged this in another video as well, but you gotta do what you gotta do if you wanna make ends meet, you know. <laughs> so um, yeah um, <laughs> why am I talking? <laughs> I'm only 15, anyway, doesn't matter. Yeah, so yeah, if you want to check out the MTR cases, check out my phone uh, case links in the description. Yes, we don't have the we don't have the uh, Google Pixel lineup here. I'm not sure, we'll probably have to sort that out um, externally because with the company I'm using to get their phone cases, they only do iPhone and Samsung. Maybe one day they will Pixel, and when they do, you'll know first. But yeah, if you want to check out my iPhone and Samsung phone cases, Samsung coming probably March 2024, then yeah, subscribe down below. Check out the eBay store and make your first orders. Anyways, back to the video. I think I I would say this phone probably feels less secure than the much much cheaper Google Pixel 6a, which really isn't a great sign. Okay, fair enough. The phone is glass, but yeah, I would be a lot more worried about dropping this phone compared to the Pixel 6a, since while the Google Pixel 6 Pro's phone is definitely a bit more dur durable because this phone just feels so slippery. I'm just seriously worried about dropping it, and yeah. I definitely prefer the Google Pixel 6a over this phone, for sure, no question. 100% this phone over the Google Pixel 6a is a lot more 
It seems it seems a lot more slippery, and yeah, I would not, I would not, I would not ever use this phone without a case because yeah, honestly, I have I have a phobia of dropping this phone because honestly, if if I drop it, it will probably break. With the Pixel 6a, you might get a few nicks and scratches over there, but it won't break. I don't think it'll. Okay, so now we know we know we know we have an amazing array of sensors with this phone being a 60 megapixel wide, I think, and a 50 or 40 megapixel telephoto, which is amazing. We have 50 megapixel main. That's what it is. And yeah, so we're just going to spend one or two minutes just doing a whole compilation of photos and videos taken on this phone because honestly, they deserve some applause. The photos with this phone are amazing, and for the next two to three years, using these cameras will still be fine. They will still be at a very high level, may, whilst they may not be at the very pro level like the, Pix, like the Pixel 8 Pro or the iPhone 15 Pro Max, they will still be amazing and definitely usable and Instagram shareable. And in this day and age, I guess that's what matters. As long as your photos look good, they'll get the likes, you'll get your money, you'll be satisfied, and then you'll probably go on Instagram again and start posting more and more, and then, yeah, it, you get addicted. But anyway, enough of that. Let's start with the photo compilation. And yeah, check out these photos and videos taken on this phone. That was so yeah, that so yeah, that was a compilation of photos and videos taken with this specific phone and yeah, this is a beast of a phone. Honestly, using this phone using this phone is great because it has so much power, it's so reliable, and I can definitely trust this phone to use to work perfectly fine with Google's amazing Android 14 for another two to three years, and that's fine with the phone. You can't ask for more with this phone. You get an amazing camera array, amazing features, and amazing design. And this is an amazing this is this is amazing to use on a day-to-day -day basis and in the long run. That's what matters. Anyways.